Article 17, shall the Town of Hampton vote to approve the cost items included in the three-year collective bargaining agreement reached between the Hampton Board of Selectmen and the International Brotherhood of Teamsters Local 633, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at the current staffing level. 2017, $54,840 for 39 weeks over the 2016 level. 2018, 52733 for the full year over the 2017 level. 2019, $35,952 over the full year and over the 2018 level, and 2020, $7,875 for 13 weeks over the 2019 level, and further to raise and appropriate the sum of $54,840 to fund the cost items related to the International Brotherhood of Teamsters Local 6633 salaries and benefits for 2017. Such sum represents the additional salaries and benefits over the 2016 budget level for the first of three years that are contained in a collective bargaining agreement between the Town of Hampton by its Board of Selectmen and the International Brotherhood of Teamsters Local 633, covering various positions at the Town Offices, um, Department of Public Works and Police Department, pursuant to NHRSA 273A, the collective bargaining statute, the compounded cumulative cost impact over the three contract years of the agreement is estimated to be $323,732. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee 8-4. to The fiscal impact is 1.7 cents per thousand dollars evaluation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 17? Moved by Mr. Griffin, seconded by Ms. Barnes. Uh, Mr. Sullivan, Assistant Town Manager Sullivan, to speak to Article 17. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, this is a, a contract uh, with the Teamsters, as the article describes. And some people are confused who the Teamsters are. They represent town employees who uh, work both at the town office, the police department, and at public works. Um, this year, the contract for Teamsters, uh, we identified, and it's a three-year contract again, with pay raises of 3%, 2%, and 2%. And the reason for that change is uh, in the first year, there were six positions that were identified and adjusted from their base pay that in negotiations was determined to be below their peer group in other areas. So those six positions in year one will receive an adjustment of 5% uh, and the 3% uh, in that first year. In the subsequent years, the entire unit only gets 2% and 2% as the offset for that. Uh, in, in similar with this group, there was uh, yeah, some insurance um, um, concessions that took place, um, and overall we felt it was a, a very fair, very good contract, and we ask for your support. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Anyone else? Yes. Ms. McGinnis. I'm Teresa McGinnis, 297 High Street. Uh, I'd like to thank um, the Board of Selectmen and the negotiating team for such a uh, positive bargaining session this time. It went quite uh, well without any bumps. Um, I, I am a Teamster. I'm the Operations Manager at the Public Works Department. I've been a Teamster since the inception, which is quite a long time ago. I'm speaking today to ask you to vote yes for this article. Um, the Teamsters, are for the Teamsters three-year collective bargaining agreement. The agreement includes, like um, Jamie said, one-year step increase and, and two-year uh, two percent increases on the second two years. The Teamster Union in Hampton represents support and supervisory staff from the town office, the Public Works Department, and the Police Department. We, for the most part, work in offices out of the public eye. We don't save lives. We don't put out fires. We don't apprehend criminals. Criminals. We do help with registering your car, obtaining a building permit, paying your taxes, getting the police department to your home in a timely manner in a time of need, removing unwanted critters from your home, taking sure, making sure potholes in front of your home are patched, and keeping the underground infrastructure clean and maintained to the extent possible. Additionally, we keep all the paperwork in order, at times a daunting task. Teamsters in Hampton include Frank Swift, highway foreman, Toby Spainhauer, sewer and drain foreman, Mark Richardson, transfer station coordinator, Mike Carl, the wastewater treatment plant operator. In the finance department, we represent Kathleen Dow, the payroll supervisor, Katie Gallo, the accounting receivables clerk, Diana Collins, the accounts payable clerk, in the building department, Chuck Marsden, the assistant building inspector, Paula Himmel, the secretary. In the town clerk's office, Shirley Doheny, the deputy town clerk. Davina Larravee, the town clerk's bookkeeper. Ann Tyrell, part-time assistant clerk. Cheryl Hildreth, part-time assistant clerk. In the police department, we represent Pete McKinnon, the animal control officer. 
Rhonda Stevens, Communication Specialist Supervisor, Melissa Kirstead, Communication Specialist, Tony Spinelli, Communication Specialist, Marcia Hess and Margie Esposito, Secretaries, and Bill Gay, the Custodian. In the Tax Collector's Office, we represent Vivian Considine, the Deputy Tax Collector. In the Welfare Department, we represent Michelle Kingsley. There are those who will likely recommend defeating this article because Social Security recipients got no cost of living adjustment in 2016 and will receive only 0.3% for 2017. From 2006 through 2015, the group of employees represented by the Teamsters received wage increases totaling 7.5%, less than 1% per year for 10 years. The Teamsters received neither cost of living nor step increases in 2016 as the warrant article for the Teamster contract failed by 51 votes. Since 2006, the Consumer Price Index, a measure of cost of buying goods and services, has risen 20%, 20.8%. And the cost of living adjustment for Social Security recipients has risen 20.2%. Based on this information, Teamsters in Hampton are more than 12% behind in cost of living increases. So I now I ask that you please support all town employees uh, by voting in favor of Articles 15, 16, and 17. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. McGinnis. Mr. Jacobs. I'd like to end, lend my ear of support to this uh, fine group of people. Um, the Teamsters, and, and maybe a lot of you don't get the interaction with them that, that I do, these are the people that actually get the work done. While I direct it, I oversee it. Um, in the middle of the night when the police department calls and says there's two inches of snow on the road or there's ice, it's Frank Swift who's, who's woken up out of bed. Uh, if he's on vacation, Toby Spainhower is, is woken up. Uh, in the same vent, uh, Mike Carl uh, for issues of uh, clogged sewer pumps. These are the people that 24-7 live by a phone um, when they're not on vacation because they, they work directly for you. Uh, they are the, if you will, first responders from my perspective in the public works department that get these things done from uh, clearance streets of flooding to trash collection to uh, potholes, emergency water breaks, things of that nature. Um, weekly, I have to sign overtime where I know these people get out of bed at some ungodly hours in the morning and, um, and they handle these things and uh, they do so very professionally, uh, efficiently, and uh, to your benefit. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Now, Clark Seif. As a department head, uh, Jane Seifer, town clerk, uh, 128 Ashworth Ave. Um, as a department head um, in the town clerk's office, uh, my frontline staff um, are members of the Teamsters. They do an incredible job for you, um, from registering your vehicle to registering your dog. Um, tracking all of that in itself is um, not one of the easiest tasks. Uh, they are required to go to um, annual training to keep up with the various laws that change sometimes every day. Um, I just want you all to know who they are. I know it has been mentioned before, but I, I think a lot of people out there don't realize who the Teamsters are, and um, they are hard at work for you every day, and I would ask that you support this article as I do. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Cypher. Anyone else wishing to be heard on um, Article 17? Seeing none, Article 17 will appear on the ballot as printed.